What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are back on, <laughs> on Shining Resonance Refrain. I was surprised by the dragon, but I'm glad Primula is safe. That's it, that's all the talking you want to do. Yuma, oh sure. Hello, I don't know what I'm... I don't know what I invited her to do, but she's got a moon over her head. I'm bored. See what she has to say. Oh, shoot. And there you have it. The Shining Dragon strength could easily match that of one million well-armed heavy infantry. No, perhaps that is too low an estimate. I think three million might be more accurate. Wow, I can't even imagine how many that is, but basically he was really strong, right? Yes, one story tells of his radiance vanquished an enemy army and dozens of dragons all by himself. The story is quite famous among historians and chroniclers of Ragnarok. I do not suppose you have heard. No, sorry, but he hasn't told me anything about all this. I see. The Shining Dragon doesn't really like to talk about the past, and I don't want to bother him. That is unfortunate. There is so much to learn about his radiance. Indeed, there are so many more wonderful, fascinating stories concerning him. Wow, really? What kinds of stories are there? Oh, all kinds. How about this one? During Ragnarok, there was a small group of fierce engagements. Known as the Battle of Clavel. Have you heard of the Battle of Clavel? Sorry, I don't know that one either. Hmm, well I will explain it in detail later. For now, all you must know is that it was an intense battle between two grand armies. When the, two, when the battle began, his radiance was flying above the High Elves' main forces, scanning for enemy movements. And then, all at once, he saw a wave of Draco Machina flying straight at him. His radiance charged forward, and wow, Kirika really knows a lot about the Shining Dragon. She's telling that story like she was there in person. She's probably been reenacting these stories over and over in her imagination ever since she was a child. I guess Kirika really idolizes the Shining Dragon. Are you paying attention? This is the most exciting part. Huh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm listening. Then I shall continue. His radiance flew high towards the sun, and then he... The story is interesting and all, but it sure is long. I'm getting kind of tired from listening for all th for this. Excuse me, are you listening? Y yes! Well, seems Kiriko loves telling these stories. I'll try to pay attention a little more. Hmm, that was interesting. Whether it's through the power of Dragon Souls or not, the Empire is clearly using dragons. It looks like the fighting is only going to get worse. Did you need something? Did you need something? All right. Well, I put crescents above their head. Does she still have hers? No. Hmm. How's it going? Yeah. Invite her to what? I don't get it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna rest and see oh, what happens then. Back. I'm gonna see if something changes in the morning or something. Or, like, I don't know. If I pass time. This obviously passes. Oh. Night events. Oh, okay. Okay. When you invite a character who you want to be closer with, a night event can occur. Night events are opportunities to become closer with your companions. You might find out something surprising about them. Hey. What's got you up so late? Nothing. I just thought we could talk a little. Sure. I was a little bored myself. Still, I was kind of surprised you wanted to talk to me alone. Oh, uh, sorry if that was weird. <laughs> no, it's fine. I wasn't actually bothered, just... You kind of made me nervous. Okay. This is probably the first time we've had a normal conversation, huh? Now that you mention it, yeah. But it doesn't really feel like it's the first. I kind of know what you mean. It's like I already know you. Yeah, that's it. You're really easy to talk to, Sonia. <laughs> Maybe. 
I wonder why. Well, anytime you feel like talking like this, you can come find me. I'd be glad to. Well, that was interesting. I don't know, we can try it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you might know I should head to the castle. Mm. What? If you have something to say, just say. Mm. Okay, well. Hold on. I'm working on getting a waifu for you, Yuma. How's it going? So now we gotta do it with her. Hello, did you need something? Okay. Back to bed. My my, welcome back. Good night. Rest. Do you have some business with me? It is terribly late. I don't know if I'd call it business. I just wanted to talk to you. And we're teammates now, right? We don't have to be so formal with each other. I was always taught to address others with the utmost respect. Uh, that's fine. But you could try talking more casually with me if you wanted. Very well. I shall try. My apologies. I can't think of anything to say. I I'm sorry, too. I kind of put you on the spot. And I might not be any better at conversation myself. Maybe if we keep chatting like this, it'd be good practice for both of us. Chatting? I see. I would be happy to speak with you whenever we have time. Great. I'll be looking forward to it, Kirika. Yes. I as well. Okay, so we got that out of the way. I'm looking forward to, you know, having a fourth party member. <laughs> okay. I mean, they set you up here with four party members and we're like two hours in the game and I don't have a fourth party member. Hello. I just want the fourth party member. Alright, up to the castle we go. The sudden invitation, though. Ah, Yuma, right on time. This way, if you please. Yuma! <laughs> Primula, Emma, what are you doing here? While I told Uncle Burroughs what happened, I said I wanted to do something to thank you, and when he heard that, he told us to come to the castle. Your Highness, Miss Kirika, Yuma, thank you all so much. Thank you. Don't worry about it. We only did what needed to be done. Oh, Yuma should get special thanks, though. Thank you for helping us. Oh, oh no, you don't have to. No need for modesty now, Yuma. They made the trip to the castle to extend their personal thanks, after all. Please accept my own thanks as well. You've protected my people from a dragon's wrath. And I don't just mean Primula. Had the beast been allowed to run unchecked, it might have chosen the city itself for its next rampage. But thanks to your efforts, that fate has been avoided. And for that, you have my gratitude, Yuma. <laughs> I told you he can fight, Father. Never would have thought. Putting an old dragon soul into a fresh body gets you a new dragon. And here I thought they were just pretty crystals. If the Imperials can keep churning these things out, we're really gonna need the shining... Burrow. <clears throat> Begging your pardon, of course, Yuma. That being said, in this matter, I actually agree with Burrows. I, for one, would rest easier at night knowing we have the dragon's support. 
I cannot force this upon you, Yuma. But forgive me for holding out hope. Have you given any more thought to my question? About lending you my, uh, power? <laughs> Mom, Mom said, said the dragon's, dragon's power, power is dangerous. Is dangerous. It, has it has to stay to contained. contained. Or, else or else I'm courting disaster. disaster. For me, the people around me. But if there were a way to get a better handle on him, I did save Sonya and Kirika at Galeritz. And if I can fight off dragons like I did to help Primula, maybe it's not as bad as Mom thought. Maybe no one has to get hurt at all. If I just play it close to my chest, use it sparingly, help people out with it, maybe I can even be useful for once. Useful? Me? The one always leaning on others for help. If I did that, yeah. Yeah, I think Mom would be okay with it. Yuma. Sonia? You can do it. Will you fight alongside us? <sighs> I... I'll do it. Your Majesty, if you'll have me in your service. I want to help. Please, let me fight with you. Power to protect. So now... Now I need my... Now I'm a full-fledged member of the army. I need a fourth... need a fourth partner. And we're back to dialogue heavy. If that's everyone, let us begin. I've called this summit for a single purpose. The dragon. Tell me everything you know about the Shining Dragon. Yoahim. Let us first discuss your contributions. What fruit has your study of the Shining Dragon borne? Uh, yes, that. Nothing new to report, Your Highness. However, you did see him transform, yes? Then it would appear the boy does bear the dragon after all. He was quite submissive, so my interest faded. If only he'd suffered more. That would have been quite stimulating. Hmm. The dragon. Is it possible to use it for my father's ends? Repurpose its power? Oh, but of course. Not to worry, Highness. I wouldn't dream of missing anything useful. I'll dissect him to the marrow next time. As you like. A question of logistics, however. To even begin capturing the creature, we must know its location. Do we? Yes, Your Highness. Reports indicate Astoria is sheltering the boy for now. As I thought. They speak gentle words, but they wouldn't give up such power. But this is fortuitous. All we need to do now is lay a wide enough net bait it sweetly to Astorian noses, and wait for our proverbial fish, or dragon, should I say. And when the trap is sprung, Zest, can we rely on you to capture the dragon? <sighs> capture? Sounds like a pain. Hmm? I thought you were interested in the dragon. Has your fancy moved on to other subjects? See, here's the thing. We've been talking it up a bunch, but if the Shining Dragon turns out to be a weakling, I might end up breaking it by accident. But if it's on the stronger side... <laughs> if boy lives up to the hype, there's no telling how excited I'll get. And then... What happens, happens, right? You will stand down, Zest. The Shining Dragon will be my responsibility for this operation. Whatever. After you've had your turn, I'll be there to make a real fight of it. You understand? Allow me to apologize for Zest's behavior on his behalf, Highness. I will see to the Shining Dragon if it please you. Hmm. I'll leave it to you then, Georg. But do not forget the purpose of your mission, nor the nature of your quarry. You are to observe, assess, and only then capture, if it's safe. I will be done. I await word of your success. That will be all.
Beatrice? I'm here. The Princess Excello. You've had more than enough time to observe her now. Your thoughts? Well, let's see. She's got blue blood, all right. And the moodiness to match. Kind of a stuffy noble type. Nothing unexpected there. Reminds me a little of someone, actually. Someone tactically relevant? Someone I ought to know about? <sighs> no. I'm just being nostalgic, I suppose. More to the point, the princess. She's a sharp one, you know. Good fighter. Thinks well on her feet. Whatever it is you're planning, Georg, I'd be careful. You're not gonna be able to outwit her too easily. I understand. If that's the case... Seems the only way I'm going to figure out this princess is by observing her firsthand. Your radiance, I shall be eternally thankful for your decision to fight with us. Kirka, I think that's a little dramatic. Not at all. The legends say your radiance has always cared for us help hapless mortals. I am glad to know the stories were true. It's not like that. I just want to help everyone. Not much time has passed since I came here, but I really like the city and the people in it. Perhaps you could take a look around the city. We do have some free time now that we have no missions. Yeah, you're right. I think I'll go for a walk. See you later, Kirika. Enjoy your radiance. Yeah. Keep it up. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Not much up there. Just looks like a few people. Ah, uh, go talk to the people in the city. <laughs> That's literally my quest right now. Can I talk to someone who will join me and be my fourth? I mean, this is like playing a three mans in Fortnite. Okay. It's like, I mean, it's fun, but it's always better with four. Or I'd rather just duo it at that point. I think I'm being stupid, but... Um, let's find someone to talk to. Let's talk to you. Not the kids. Welcome. Let's talk to you. Come and see. Hey, you there. The one who looks like a bean sprout. Eat our vegetables and become muscular. There's really nothing. Oh, there's a multiple main. Oh, it wants me to talk to the main characters, I think. So we happen to be here by Kirika. Oh, no, wait. It doesn't want me to talk to Kirika. Wants me to talk to... Rapple. Yuma, you say Primula, right? Um, thanks. No, I just did what I could. Besides, I wasn't the only one who rescued her. Yeah, well, I should still wait. Hey, what's that you've got? Huh, this? Whoa, I knew it. That's a dragon scale. Did you get that out there? Yeah, the lesser dragon dropped it. Whoa, the smoothness, the luster. It's really high quality. I'm jealous. You want it then? Well, it's not that I want it, but if you did turn it over, I can make a really powerful aspect piece. Really? Then can you craft with it? For real? You'll let me? Woohoo! I've always wanted to try working on one of these babies. Erm, I mean, uh, um, <laughs> you know, I'll work on it if I have the time. Just bring that material to me when you want me to work on it, alright? Let's, it's deal. Aspect pieces. You can set up your aspect pieces in the aspect screen in the party menu. How many aspect pieces you can set is determined by the number of aspect slots on your tuning. You will have an advantage in battle by equipping powerful aspect pieces. Be sure to make use of alchemy. Item making? synthesis, detox bottle. What are we making? See you around. Nothing right now. I'm gonna hold on to my dragon scale for right now. Hello. My apologies. All right, I guess I have to actually go do an actual mission. How's it going? Hey, Yuma, seems like everyone's talking about you being a big hero. I'm not really a hero, I just wanted to help all my friends. Her. What's wrong? Sorry, allergic to corny lines. Oh, I see, sorry. Whatever, anyway, I wanted to ask a favor. Help me get some new stock. Okay, what do I do? First, gonna need a vial of blood, lock of hair, 
Also a signed contract saying your soul's mine. You'll serve me forever? The usual paperwork? <laughs> I'm going home. Wait, relax, joking. I just need you to collect materials that I need and slay some monsters. Quests. When interacting with the citizens of Marga, you may receive re requests from them. The objective of the quest can vary from collecting items to slaying monsters. You can receive rewards if you fulfill requests. Try listening to what the locals have to say from time to time. See? So easy. Anyone could do it. Yeah, I'm not too sure about all that blood and soul stuff, but I can handle the other part. Good, then as proof of our agreement, just sign this contract. I'll still get your soul. This again? Sorry. Dragged it out too long. You know what they say about forcing jokes, but tell me if you need work. I'll have requests ready. Okay. You can accept quests from the people of Marga. Oh, Yuma, good timing. Can you come with me? Where were we going? Windia Grasslands. Nothing special, just my turn for the night's patrol. If you're free, I figured you could tag along. Sure, if I, I'll, I'll go if I can help. Thanks. If his radiance is going, allow me to accompany you as well. Let's go to the Windia Grasslands. Okay, so this seems, this is a little bit shorter of an episode than normal, but it seems like a good spot to end it. So I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.